I don't think I've ever witnessed a part like Lena's that is so significant and also so multi multi-dimensional and so multifaceted. I believe the initial idea for the story was a photograph that Emma saw. She's a character who is experiencing life at many different intersections, at a really weird intersection in time, um, considering you know World War II, at a weird intersection in terms of who she is as a biracial girl growing up in Hitler's Germany in such an Aryan society. This story of, of, of race and gender and of, you know, what it is to be male or female or black or white or biracial or whatever, you know, it is the color of the skin and how that affects one's life regardless of time. It's interesting with it, the, that this story is, is so compelling but it's not necessarily active choices being made all of the time by your central character always reaching for something that they've got in mind. They're being moved by the world that's bigger than them and all the forces that dictate who they are and who they have to be. Um, and that's what's really fascinating about this story. It really strips back her character to the bare bones of what it is to be human, what it is to live and breathe and life and death and these simple, not so simple concepts. Um, that I feel like she's dealing with in every single scene in the movie. I felt really blown away when I first read the script to find a character who managed to be all of those things at once and to find a character that I could relate to. Um, it's not often that I see characters who reflect my experience and let alone reflect it in such an interesting way. This story is incredibly relevant to the way in which people are living in fear and that sort of uneasiness with your identity makes you grab onto something and that's sort of turning into a kind of nationalist view it seems in a lot of places around the world and that's what Nazi Germany was. This is not just about the country and the time and what happened um, but it also becomes a very personal experience, it becomes a singular experience in a unified you know, communal, global story. The world is becoming more compartmentalised, more separate. Um, so people's conscience is definitely going to come under the microscope, I would think. I think in the next few years, it's really important that we focus on the specific intersectionality of humankind. <laughs> You know, the people who we don't think about a lot, the people who are gay and black, the people who are transgender and Hispanic, you know, the people who are experiencing these different layers and forms of oppression, especially when we haven't really seen them represented in media before. And I think that's why this movie is important. It's a love story. It's a story about history that resonates very much with things that are happening today. Um, it's about the contradictions in individuals and in humanity. And perhaps it's a warning. It's a lesson of history.